This isn't just another story about ancient Egypt. This is about a tunnel, an ancient silent corridor buried beneath a forgotten temple. The achievement is supposed to be the pyramid above us that rises out of the desert floor. That might lead us to Cleopatra's long lost tomb. Not a myth, not a legend, the real queen buried beside Mark Antony. No one knows what happens to her after she dies or where she's buried. In 2022, under the ruins of Taposiris Magna, archeologists found a tunnel so precise it's been called a geometric miracle. This chamber, because it's unique. The discovery sent ripples through history circles and straight into podcast land. Because let's be honest, this is prime Joe Rogan territory. The kind of mystery that would light up the Joe Rogan experience with maps, theories, and a thousand what ifs. We continue our search for Cleopatra. Joe Rogan and the JRE connection. Now picture Joe Rogan leaning over the mic eyes wide, voice dropping low. Dude, they found a tunnel under a temple that might lead to Cleopatra's tomb. If you've ever tuned into the Joe Rogan experience, you know exactly how that moment would sound. Since 2009, Rogan's been diving headfirst into the strange, the unsolved, the almost too wild to believe. From aliens to Atlantis, pyramids to psychedelics, this tunnel has all the ingredients. It's not just a mystery, it's the scale, the geometry, the ancient engineering that seems to laugh at modern tech. This is the kind of discovery Rogan would unpack for hours with guests like Graham Hancock or Randall Carlson. He'd grill them. So how the hell did they dig that 2,000 years ago? With what, chisels and prayers? And Jamie, his right-hand researcher, would already be pulling up drone footage, maps, and satellite images. But what makes JRE the perfect stage isn't just curiosity, it's the way it turns obscure history into conversation. Because when Rogan talks about something, it goes from dusty archaeology to front page Reddit. And this tunnel? It's got that kind of fire. The Discovery A Geometric Miracle Unearthed In November 2022, something incredible surfaced beneath the sands of Egypt. At a site called Taposiris Magna, just 30 kilometers from Alexandria, archaeologists uncovered a tunnel unlike anything seen before. It stretches 1,305 meters long, carved deep into sandstone, resting 13 meters below the surface. And here's the kicker. Experts called it a geometric miracle, not a poetic label, a technical one. It was that precise. The woman behind the fence, Kathleen Martinez, she wasn't just digging randomly. She believed, with absolute conviction, that Cleopatra's lost tomb was near. And this tunnel, to her, wasn't just a structure. It was a sign. It wasn't empty, either. Pottery shards, a limestone block, coins with Cleopatra's face, and alabaster statues, all from the Ptolemaic period, emerged from the Earth. The same era Cleopatra ruled. The energy on site was electric. Cameras rolled, reports flooded in, and the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities stepped forward. This might be the biggest lead in decades. And yet, the story was just beginning. Because this wasn't just a tunnel, this was a message from the past. And it had waited 2,000 years to be heard. Engineering Feats of the Ancient World Let's pause and ask the question Joe Rogan would. How the hell did they build this? No machines, no GPS, just ancient mines and a tunnel over 1,300 meters long, 13 meters deep, and straight as an arrow. That's why archaeologists aren't just impressed, they're stunned. Kathleen Martinez compared it to the tunnel of Eupolinos in Greece, an ancient aqueduct famous for its precision, nearly the same length, dug into sandstone, perfectly aligned. Experts believe they started from both ends and met in the middle, an engineering move that still amazes modern builders. Tools like plumb bobs and sighting rods guided the work with geometry that would have made Pythagoras proud. And the ventilation? Probably planned, too. You don't go that deep without thinking about how to breathe. But here's the twist. Earthquakes centuries ago flooded part of the tunnel, turning it into a submerged mystery. Was it an aqueduct? A secret escape route? A ceremonial passage? No one's sure. But whatever it was, it wasn't random. It was made with a purpose, 
and it tells us one thing clearly. Ancient Egyptians weren't guessing. They were designing. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Cleopatra's Lost Tomb – The Big Question Here's the part that stirs imaginations. Could this tunnel actually lead to Cleopatra's tomb? Cleopatra VII wasn't just a queen. He was a strategist, scholar, and icon. After losing to Rome in 31 BC, she and Mark Antony died by suicide the next year. Ancient texts say they were buried together in a royal tomb. But for 2,000 years, no one's found it. Earthquakes and floods wiped out ancient Alexandria's landscape, pushing most historians to think the tomb is underwater. But Kathleen Martinez had another theory. Cleopatra wanted to be buried as a goddess, not a ruler, somewhere symbolic, somewhere sacred. Taposiris Magna, tied to Osiris, the god of the afterlife, was perfect. Artifacts backed her up. Ptolemaic pottery, coins with Cleopatra's face, statues from her era, and now, a tunnel from that time. Joe Rogan would have loved this moment. So she wrote her own, even in death? Maybe. Aligning herself with Isis, queen of rebirth, would have been the ultimate message. No headlines, no marble tomb, just divinity. There's no smoking gun yet, but the tunnel's presence suggests we're closer than ever. Kathleen Martinez, the woman behind the dig. To understand this dig, you have to understand Kathleen Martinez. She started as a lawyer in the Dominican Republic, but in 2004, she gave it all up to chase a theory across the world. Cleopatra didn't want a grand city tomb. She wanted something sacred. Most experts dismissed her, too symbolic, too speculative, but she didn't care. She studied Cleopatra's writings and religious links until one idea stuck. Taposiris Magna, the Temple of Osiris, made more sense than Alexandria's ruins. Martinez convinced Egyptian authorities and launched a dig in 2005. Since then, she's uncovered over 1,500 artifacts, statues, mummies, and finally, the tunnel in 2022. Joe Rogan would have been hooked. So wait, you weren't even an archaeologist? Exactly. No formal training. Just obsession, grit, and belief. Critics say she's too focused on one place. But her results speak loudly. Even if Cleopatra isn't there, Martinez reshaped the map. And that tunnel, a 1-305-meter reward for 20 years of instinct, might just prove her right. Challenges of digging up the past Now, it's easy to picture this like some Hollywood treasure hunt. Maps, flashlights, maybe even a golden tomb door at the end. But the reality? It's brutal. Digging through 2,000 years of earth, water, and ruin isn't just archaeology, it's endurance. Part of the tunnel is underwater. Not a trickle, entire submerged sections caused by earthquakes that shattered the temple between the 4th and 14th centuries. Martinez's team isn't just excavating, they're diving. Pumps, scaffolding, reinforced pathways. It's an engineering feat just to get inside safely. Taposiris Magna has taken damage, erosion, looting, collapse. Some parts are so unstable that even walking becomes risky. The climate doesn't help either. Sandstorms, heat, and salt air grind down gear and human strength. Advanced tech like ground-penetrating radar helps, but water distorts the signals, making scans unreliable. And there's pressure from the government, from donors, from the public. Everyone wants a win. Egypt's tourism runs on history. Joe Rogan would probably laugh and say, so they're archaeologists and Navy SEALs now? But the truth is clear. This dig is a race, not just against time, but against nature, decay, and the unknown. What's next? The future of the excavation. So where does this all lead? As of March 2025, the Taposiris Magna dig continues. Martinez's team is pushing deeper, mapping every meter, hoping it leads to a sealed chamber, maybe even the chamber. But with parts submerged or collapsed, they're leaning on new tools, underwater drones, sonar, and remote cameras. Not flashy, just be careful. If they find a blocked section, they'll drill or clear it, searching for carvings, bones, or artifacts. 
one fragment could confirm what they've spent years chasing. This won't wrap soon. Excavation is slow, funding is tight, but Egypt's still pushing. Tourism, history, pride, it's all in play. Rogan would ask, what if they open it and it's empty? And that's fair, but even if it holds no body, no treasure, the tunnel has already changed what we thought we knew. And if it does lead to Cleopatra, that moment could shift history forever. Similar mysteries, other lost tombs and hidden tunnels. This tunnel might be grabbing headlines, but it's far from the only enigma that keeps archaeologists up at night. The past is filled with vanished tombs, half-finished digs, and legends buried in silence. Alexander the Great's tomb vanished centuries ago. Some believe it's under Alexandria. Others think the sea claimed it. Dives and dogs? No answers. In China, Qin Shi Huang's tomb, the ruler of the Terracotta Army, remains sealed. Texts mention rivers of mercury, deadly traps. It's too dangerous to open. Or the cliffside dwellings of the ancestral Puebloans, abandoned without explanation by 1300 AD. No one knows why. Even the Eupolinos Tunnel in Greece, a cousin to Cleopatra's, is still studied for its impossible precision. These mysteries connect through one question. What's still down there? Cleopatra's tunnel fits right in, a single thread in history's deeper maze. Whether it leads to a queen or not, it proves one thing. Time doesn't bury secrets forever. It just waits for the right hands to find them. This tunnel might not speak, but it echoes. Through stone and silence, it dares us to question everything we thought we knew about Cleopatra, ancient Egypt, and the limits of human ambition. Whether it leads to a tomb or turns out to be something else entirely, the discovery has already done something remarkable, igniting the world's curiosity. And that, in itself, is powerful. The past isn't finished with us. It waits patiently, quietly, beneath layers of earth and time. Maybe Kathleen Martinez will find what she's looking for. Maybe not. But the tunnel? It's open now.